idea for a strip where you can't work directly together to come up with what the strip is going to look like, where you have to write action? Oh, you know, as far as like a lot of specific stuff about visual blocking, like, you know, we we write pretty free. I mean, if you ever heard any of the podcasts or see any of the fourth panel stuff, I mean, yeah. we're, we can communicate with each other about that kind of material. We, you know, we expect that it's the, the process isn't always going to go well, and we will yell at each other, and you know what I mean? Like, we don't always get 100% get along. But there are certain barriers between us that I don't cross. And a lot of times it has to do with how specific things look visually. Because he can't think visually. I'm not trying to insult him saying that he doesn't think that way. No, no, like if I look at a comic, I only look at the words. I can read an entire comic in probably 40 seconds. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I can't even look at the pictures. There was a strip we did, um, this happens a lot, but the most recent one is the strip on Friday. Uh, which everyone was here, you might not have seen it, but at the end of it, there was a guy playing on his end gauge in Siberia. With Comrade God. And the, the joke was that he was, if you play the ball, you know how long it takes some people to load the freaking game. We <laughs> joke that they must be playing on their end gauge, right? So in, in his mind, he's like, well, maybe we don't need the text in the last panel. We just have like a, a big shot that shows Siberia and the guy playing on the end gauge. Yeah. And I'm like, how would I show a wide, establishing shot of Siberia <laughs> with enough detail that you would know that the guy in it is playing on an Indian? Like, That's only not my job. <laughs> like, I can either draw an Indian so that you know it's that and you don't see really much else. Like, yeah. he just doesn't think that way. Yeah, we each have like half of a useful brain. <laughs> Partly because that's just in order to work together as long as we have, we have to have we have to have some kind of rule. And my rule is that I don't get to fuck with him about the part that he loves. You know what I mean? Like I, I can't tell him how to do that stuff unless I have a really amazing idea and then I bring it to him, you know, with reference. <laughs> you know. But generally speaking, no, that's that's not not my job. And I'm not trying to voice it on him, but that's what he loves to do. And I don't want to take it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like a wiser person now. <laughs>